This is a video for class uh, ESI 428, 3D Seismic Interpretation. Uh, this video is designed to show how to put a well location into the 3D seismic volume. These are the SNARK data, as, uh, as you're familiar. Um, so we've obtained some information about latitudes and longitudes of particular wells. And in this case, we're, I'm going to show you how to locate the Bujum 1 well in this particular area. In order to do this, I'm going to go to show you where to find the document in which I found that information. This is uh, Al Space. You're familiar with it. Uh, the resource that we're using for uh, to, with has many interesting things in it, but it includes some well locations in the Stark area. I've gone into uh, into resources. I've gone into the heading reading materials and the highlighted uh, feature here, area summary, L131, T131.pdf, is what we're going to look at. This is the document that opened when uh, I went to the, to the document you were looking at. Uh, and is, uh, this is related to geology and pro petroleum prospectivity and uh, in northern Carnarvon Basin. Uh, and this is about uh, the state, in this case Australia, releasing acreage for companies that uh, are looking to drill. And this data set is up to date this year. What I'm going to go down to here is to go to the table that has information about wells, their latitude, longitude, etc. So we're interested in the Bujum 1 well near the top, but next to my uh, cursor. And what, I'm gonna, what I've been doing and what I ask you to do then is write down the latitude, the longitude, the total depth, the um, year if you'd like, the name of the company, there's a place for that uh, in, uh, in the Petrel uh, load. And so those are the pieces of information that you're going to need when you create a well in the SNARK data set. Notice that the latitude is south latitude. Most of us in the northern hemisphere are used to everything being north, but Australia obviously is below the equator, so you'll be working with a south latitude here. Um, and the other thing that's unusual, or it's normal, but uh, you, you need to be aware of it, is the total depth, which in this case is 2,577 meters, is referenced to meters in the um, with respect to the rotary table, and that is the place on the drill rig floor where the measurements of the pipes that go in uh, take place. So I'll ask you to write these write these pieces of information down. In your case, you can always go back and look at them from the uh, the Owl Space uh, source. This is a website uh, that I happen to find on the internet. Uh, you can read off the coordinate here, www.earthpoint.us slash convert.aspx. Uh, there are many others of these, and so this is just the one I happen to pick up. I've gone ahead and I've inter entered the location, the latitude and the longitude of the Bujum 1 well. Now, you'll see and recognize this from what you've written down from the other table. Uh, one of the things that's important here is you have to put this in in the proper format so that it recognizes the location you're looking for. So one of the things this particular page does is you come down here to an area where it tells you how to what format to put the latitude in. You can actually put latitude in here in a number of different ways. This is what we just call decimal uh, decimal degrees. This is the one that is most like the, or either of these would be the ones most like the, um, the way the data uh, are described in the uh, table that we've looked at. So look at the format and make sure you use that format exactly in order to enter, to enter the latitude and the longitude. Now the way this works, once you have these two locations in place, you can hit calc. And if you come down here, then these are different results from different types of map projection. So in other words, we have UTM here, which is the coordinate that our uh, seismic data are in. And that's what we need to put it in into our project in Petrel. 
So let's go across and look at the numbers that we have, and this is indeed our UTM location. Now the 50 corresponds to the UTM zone 50 um, that you used when you originally loaded the seismic data as part of your data loading instructions. The K that follows here is a sort of an old-fashioned way of specifying whether thing whether how whether it's north or south of the equator and it divides it into some different steps with different alphabetic letters. So it's a little confusing, but this K tells me that it's in the southern hemisphere. Then we have two numbers, the so-called easting and the northing, and the this particular value, these are both in meters. So these would be the coordinates that you will be entering into Petrel in order to place the Bucham 1 well. So the numbers you need are the 296196 meters easting and 7650484 meters northing. So it's in the southern hemisphere, but it's actually being measured from the south pole northward uh, in order to have a positive number here. So don't reverse that because you think this is north of the equator. That K actually tells us that it's south. So write this, write this coordinate down. You can do this for any number. This even has a batch convert where you could probably put a whole bunch of well locations in and it might well convert all of them for you. I haven't tried that. So I've just worked with the Bujum one well. So now we'll take that information, all that you got from the table and from this conversion, and we will take it now to Petrel and load things up. Okay, now we're going to actually load the Ujim one well into our data. Now, just as we had to load an initial seismic uh, folder to hold all of our seismic data, we're going to do the same thing with wells. So I'm going to go up to Insert, and I'm going to go down to New Well Folder, and that's going to create our well folder. Uh, it has some stuff in here that you can use to sort things out. I'm going to sort of get that out of the way. Then I'm going to right-click on Wells, and I'm going to go to a feature called the Well Manager. This is going to keep track of all the wells that you have in a particular project. I'm going to click that on. At this point, there's nothing in the Well Manager, so I'm going to use this symbol to append an item to the table. So we now have a line to put a well, and I'm going to put in information that corresponded to uh, what we obtained from the other data source. So I'm going to put it in dash one. Okay, I'm going to come across. I don't need to put a UWI in. I don't right now have the, the number for that well. That's in sort of an international well numbering system. Well symbol, I know that this uh, symbol produced some, or was uh, at least found gas in that well, so we'll get a symbol there. The surface X and Y are going to be the numbers that you obtained in UTM coordinates. So 296, 196, and the surface Y is going to be the 765044. Now the next thing is you're going to need to put in, the computer will later put the latitude and longitude in for you. We're going to look at the TD. The TD that was given uh, relative to the rotary table was 2577. So we'll put that in here. Now the offset corresponds to the distance from sea level of the reference surface up in this case to the rotary table, which is the, the device on the drill rig that is actually turning the drill string, and it's how drillers measure depth with the pipe that they're putting down. I don't have an access at the moment to the offset, but I'm going to put 20 meters in as a possibly reasonable sort of number. And as we come across, there are then some other, in, some other uh, items that are not really important. If one had that information, one could put it in. So I'm going to click. You also could go in and you could use and put another well in if you wanted here. So you put in your whole list, and you will get uh, you will be able to plot different wells on your on your program. Okay, I'm going to slay, say OK, and I'm going to open this up. And here is a Bujum one well. It has the gas symbol. It hasn't been turned on. I'm going to click it like many things so that it will show. You can just barely see it here. I'm going to zoom into it, and we will be able to see the well. 
So we have Mujum 1, we have its location, we have a pipe going down. Now in this case I'm using the tag up at the top, any, because the Bujum well is in terms of depth in meters and all of the seismic data is in two-way time. So if you take an actual point on the well string here, that will not necessarily correspond exactly with the, the rocks that it is penetrating. So you have to be careful, but it allows it to at least show the positions of the Bujum well um, as, we, as we go along. So we've created this, we can go in and modify it, and we can then do other things. We can add uh, well logs to this. I don't have well logs for the SNARK data set, but um, so there's a lot that one can do with it. So that's a way to put in a real well or your imaginary well when you're planning to drill a hole as part of your final project. Thanks.